Hi there, it's highly likely you're going to come across some data on inflation, either as part of a multiple choice question or of course as part of a data response assignment in the exam. I just want to take you through very quickly the difference between inflation and deflation and also disinflation. They may well target this as a question. This data shows the annual rate of inflation in the UK right up to the latest figures which is April 2016 when inflation was 0.3%. Now you can see here that the rate of inflation varies uh, from month to month. This is the annual 12-month change in consumer prices. When the rate of inflation is increasing, as it was in 2009 into 2010, we call this an accelerating inflation period. Uh, that means that the consumer price, index is, is, consumer price index is rising at an increasing rate. Jack a little bit further ahead into 2012, 2013, the rate of inflation was falling call that disinflation but the rate of inflation is still positive still greater than zero so prices are still rising but at a decreasing rate a lot of students confuse falling inflation with falling prices I'm sure you won't do the same it's only when inflation becomes negative as it was for a little bit during 2015 when prices on average are falling the general price level is falling so you can see in 2015 we had a little bit of deflation, but actually since then the rate of inflation has moved up, moved back into positive territory. So quite important to think of the difference between accelerating inflation, disinflation and deflation. Good luck in your exams.